What is going on, everybody? I'm your boy, Fidel Mephisto, and welcome back to part four of Spellforce 3 Reforced. Even though I thought it was Reforged, but I'm an idiot. But yeah, we are on the next chapter in the uh, solo, or uh, well, the campaign, I should say, not solo. So this is going to be interesting. I told you this would happen, Angar. I told you. I just can't believe this is all you have to say in your defense to her. They attacked us. How often do I have to say this? Anselm and his friends attacked us. Do you need me to write it down for you? Watch your tongue, Tahar. General, you are a soldier of the Queen, Tahar. And for the past eight years, you have served us well. Not only that, you even went as far as to refuse obedience to your father. Because you knew what he did was wrong. I respect that. But... Killing five of your brethren in cold blood, and refusing a royal order? I cannot let that go unpunished. But this is ridiculous! The general was wrong, for heck's sake! The blood burn is not contagious! What should we have done? Slaughter an entire village? Blazes, are you that ignorant or just plain stupid, Carpo? These elves would have told you anything. They were the ones who betrayed our treaty in the first place. But I'm done explaining myself. This is a waste of time. You're a murderer, Tahar. I should have seen that right away, but I didn't. And the same goes for you, Carpal. You're a disgrace to the Wolf Guard. <sighs> Tell me one thing, Tahar. Do you have any regrets? I do. They were my brethren. <sighs> Carpal Tahar. Corporal Carpal, you are hereby found guilty of murdering five soldiers of the Royal Army and insubordination. The punishment is death by the strip. Take them to the dungeons. Well, goddamn. No fucking mercy, no nothing, bro. That's it. Pardon? Since you've been sitting here, I've been wondering why your face looks so bloody familiar. Now I remember. I saw you in the courtyard, back when they took me to my... How did they call it? Trial? You're one of them, aren't you? If I was one of them, would I be sitting here? Were one of them. Sorry. I'm guessing I should be mad at you, shouldn't I? For serving these idiots. But... As it seems, we're sitting in the same dirt, so... Sod it. I'm Iria. Iria of Finanmir. What's your name? Just call me Tahar. Tahar? As in... Isamo Tahar? He was my father, yes. But I fought him in the Mage Wars. Huh. None of my business, I suppose. So... Tell me, Tahar. What brings you to this wonderful place? Came to enjoy some nice hours of sitting in rat crap and hearing those zealots torture the living shit out of our kind? I hate to disappoint, but it gets boring after a while. Our kind? I didn't know I was an elf. <laughs> no, but you're gifted, same as I. Or a defiler, as people prefer to say nowadays. Ah, oh, right. You're a mage. I am. I think you know what I'm here for. I'm sentenced to die in the pike, just as you are. Oh, I see. How come? If I'm not mistaken, you're Wolfguard, aren't you? And aren't you guys supposed to be some kind of... elite? I was a corporal and refused an order. Oh? What kind of order? Long story. In short, our general ordered us to slaughter an entire village, Leonon. He wanted to prevent a plague called the Bloodburn from spreading, but how should I say? was missing some crucial information. Which was? The blood burn isn't contagious. <sighs> Blazes. Sometimes I wonder what's wrong with this world. I got ambushed. Soldiers of House Leoniter, as they called themselves. I was trying to reason with them, but they wouldn't listen. I knew I shouldn't have done it, you know? <laughs> Use my magic. But in that moment, I was just so bloody scared. What did you do? I only remember fragments. Two of them lunged at me. I grabbed their arms and let my light magic run free. It was over in less than a minute. I... I didn't even know I could do that. 
light magic can kill? It can drain, yes. It's not what it's made for, but nonetheless deadly. And I take it you got caught? No, not at first. But I'd rather not talk about it. They're going to kill us. And, you know, there is still a part in me that thinks this is all a bad dream. Are you... Are you afraid? No. Hmm. Then I wish we could swap places for a while. Anyway, I don't know about you, but I haven't given up yet. We need to find a way out, and we need to do it quick. We're in a prison. How did you guess? Doesn't change the fact that we need to get out. I've searched every part of my cell, and there's absolutely nothing. But yours is a lot bigger. Go see if you can find anything. Like what? A magical key? No, a fragile bar in the walls. Something that can help us pick a lock. Whatever. Or maybe start by taking a look at that breakthrough in the wall behind you. Hmm? So? See anything? Nothing. It's a dead end. Shit. Well, that explains why they haven't repaired it. Then keep looking. Hmm. Whoever that belongs to, I doubt he's still alive. Hmm? Nothing. Now would you look at that? <clears throat> Interesting. What's that? What are you looking at? I don't know. Some sort of grate. There's something stuck down there. Looks like a piece of metal. Are you serious? Get it! I'm trying, but... Oh, shit! Ellen's reins. Are you alright? I... I think so. What was that? A tunnel spider. Just yesterday, one of the prisoners got bitten. Shit. But you killed it. And I have that nail. Right, the nail. See if you can find a thread or something like that. That way we could make a lockpick. A lockpick? What do you think this is? A child's cane? We are in the Great Deep <coughs> Prison. Even if you had Zerbo's keys, you wouldn't get that door open. Just ignore him. Let's hmm. see. Interesting. Iria, I found something here. It looks like a piece of thread. Great! One of the prisoners must have left it. That's it. Now put it... All right, scum. Time to wake up. Two filers? Those two. Isn't that... The betrayer's child. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. I am Rondar Lacane, the Harbinger of Light. And you are here because you've sinned. I don't know how, and it doesn't matter. But the Light has found you guilty. I... Mercy! Please, sir! I have children! A wife! I... Quiet, scum! Don't. He's afraid. And he should be. So, I'm here for a simple reason. You, the Defilers, are beyond repentance. But you three, you may not be. If you admit your sins now and accept the light into your life, you may be given a second chance. You may be born again as servants of Aeonir. The choice is yours. Child? I don't think he can hear you, Your Holiness. Why? I believe my instructions were clear. If they are not defilers, they are not to die. Until they have been given a chance. I... I know, Your Holiness. But he was already weak when the soldiers brought him here. He, he must have had some untended wounds. Hmm. I see. Well, may the light have mercy on your soul, child. I repent! Please, Your Holiness, I repent! You do? Yes! Then confess. I... Confess that you have done wrong. Confess that you are corrupted. Confess that your life is and was always empty without the love of the All-Father. And confess that it is only this love that can lead you back to the path of virtue. I... I confess that I accept the light as my salvation. Then rise and be born again. <sighs> Open the door, child, and take him away. I will join you in the courtyard. Are you certain, Your Holiness? I am. Leave. Of course. What a lunatic. What now? No idea. But as long as that priest fellow is here, we have no way to get out unseen. I... wait. Do you hear that? Sale.
You heard it. Didn't you? That voice? Yes. That... Huh. That's interesting. You aren't making any sense. I... The Bloodburn. What do you know about it? Only that it's some kind of magical plague. A magical plague? Yes, that's one way to put it. Where do I start? Six months ago, before the first occurrence of the Bloodburn, Aenor showed me a vision. It was... beautiful. Riveting. Like the one that made you found the purity of light in the first place. I see you're well informed. Yes, like that one. Must be handy to have so many visions. I don't expect you to understand my faith, Tahar. So spare me the irony. But that particular vision I had that night was different. I woke up in a wide, empty desert. The sun was glaring. And the sand was almost burning. Yet I felt completely at ease. I began to walk until I saw the walls of a beautiful giant city, white as marble. Just cut to the chase. In that city I saw the Allfather, Aenir. It was humbling and exhilarating. You met Aenir? Yes. I don't think that you as a non-believer could possibly understand what it felt like. But what matters is that he spoke to me. He told me that the blood burn was imminent, and how we can cure it. So, how can we cure it? Well, that's where you come in. I wasn't certain at first, but now I am. He told me that there's someone who would play a pivotal role in all this, whose blood is connected to the plague and I would recognize him or her when the time comes. And you believe that's me? I do. Let me tell you a story. Three weeks ago, a small village was almost completely wiped out by the blood burn. I went there, together with six of my priests, to follow up on my vision. As you can imagine, it was atrocious. By the time we got there, most of the townsfolk were already dead. Save for one man, an elf, the village healer, witnessing that bloodbath. It had broken him. However, he was still able to tell us some very interesting things. Among them, that he believed the infection occurred right after he heard something that night. A song. The Song of the White, as we now call it. Hang on. You're saying that this singing we just heard actually causes the blood burn? Correct. And since, according to that elven healer, the words of the song resemble the Shaper tongue, we think that the blood burn might be connected to the Shapers. <laughs> Nonsense. Actually, he might be right. Lord Marshal Arendir told me something similar. Noises before an outbreak. All right, now I'm lost. If this song causes the blood burn, why are you the first to make that connection? Because not everybody hears it. Only those who are magically gifted do, and this hearing also protects them from the disease itself. Both of you are. And that leads me to believe that you, Tahar, are the one Aenir spoke of. The Pariah, who will help us put an end to the blood burn. If Aenir chose me, why didn't he just send me the vision himself? You're making the mistake of trying to apply human logic to a divine being. We're simply not in a position to understand the Allfather's ways. So being a mage protects from the blood burn. Having magic in you, that's a big difference. Using magic, giving in to the temptation, is a sin. Merely having the gift isn't. It's something that runs in your blood. But yes, being gifted seems to allow hearing the song and protects against the blood burn. Hmm. Hmm. And if we help you, does that mean we'll be spared? Will you get us out of here? It won't be easy, but yes. I will. Whatever you want me to do, if I am to help you, you'll free Iria as well. Of course. She may be a defiler, but her ability to hear the song makes her as valuable as you are. If this song forebodes the Bloodburn, does that mean that there will be an outbreak in Greykeep? 
Well, something else we learned about the Bloodburn is that it's unpredictable. There might be an outbreak, or there might not be. And it might be just a servant who dies, or the entire castle. If that's the case, shouldn't you be afraid for your men? I'm not. I am with Aenir, as we all are. And fear is only Wow, the fucking rules in this world, man, oh, are fucking that's weird. Convenient. So you're saying there's no pattern at all? Whether a song causes an outbreak or not is entirely coincidental. No, I did not say that. What I said is that we have not understood the pattern yet. There isn't much of a choice, is there? If we don't help you, we'll be executed. Yes. But even if your situation were different, helping us would be in your best interest. If we don't stop the blood burn, all of Eo will be affected. Regardless of race or faith. And also, being chosen by Aenir is a great honor. One some of my followers would kill for. I know. Now please get us out of here. Of course. There are some arrangements I have to make first. Give me a few moments. Two more things before you set out. First, you'll have to use the sewers to escape. There's an entrance in the tower cellar that leads through the mountains. Get out of the prison and go there as quick as possible. Once you are out of the fortress, leave the city and head to Farland's Hope. It's a small village to the northwest in Iskander. There you'll meet with a contact of ours, an expert on Shaper culture who will help us decipher the song. His name is Iskrim, and he's a dwarven scholar. We set him out on a mission to find Mulandir three weeks ago. Mulandir? The ancient city of the Shapers, yes. So you want us to help that dwarf find Mulandir, don't you? What for? Isn't it obvious? To find clues about the song. How do we find the dwarf? Will he be in the village? It's possible, but I doubt it. Once you arrive there, you should talk to the village mayor, Clara Farlin. She works for the Purity, and will provide you with all the information you need. Just tell her you are sent by the light. Sent by the light. Fair enough. Anything else? There is. Here, take this. What is that? A r what the heck? What, what was that? The rune. It imprinted itself on you. Imprinted? What is that thing? Hard to answer. To put it shortly, they are a gift of Aenir to us as his servants. They protect us. If the bearer of such a rune loses his life, he will be revived by Aenir's light. Did you just say... Revived, yes. You're joking, right? No magic on Eo can undo death. The magic you're talking about is the magic of a past era. These runes are the symbol of a power far older than anything these fumblers you call mages could ever dream of wielding. As I told you, Tahar, Aenir's light outshines all. He was the first in this world, and he will be the last. Alright, so I gotta be level 13 for that. Well, looks like I'm going with her to be my healer. So, these things make us what? Immortal? Not immortal, no. But they provide you with a chance. Should you die and be brought back to life, the rune will lose a part of its power. Its energy will take you to one of Aenir's shrines, and there your body will be mended. Aenir's shrine? You are talking about the Elam Sar, aren't you? Yes, I am. Though most people call them the Godstones. To join a Godstone with your rune, you will need to touch the stone with it. And then what? <laughs> You'll see. Either way, we shouldn't waste any more time. This should be self-evident, but only tell people you fully trust <coughs> of our cooperation. I will do the same. Now go. Head to Farland's Hope. Find the dwarf and find Mulandir. All right. Goodbye then, I guess. Goodbye. Ah, 
One more thing, Tahar. Mm -hmm. The two of us. We are more alike than you think. You are searching for something. For the answer to a question. And while I have found mine, you haven't found yours. What are you getting at? Well, you see, I'm not a fool. I know you haven't seen the light as I have. And I do not expect your loyalty. But as I said before, your blood, your lineage, it is somehow connected to all this. And even though I don't know how, maybe our cooperation can help you find the answer. But I've wasted enough of your time. Farewell, Tahar. Farewell, Iriar of Finan Mir. We will meet again. All right. So that just happened. What now? Let's just get out of here. Okay. We should probably get our gear back first, though. Let's look around. There. I think this is where they put our gear. Much better. Indeed. Odd that this place is unguarded, oh, shit. though. Don't jinx it. Alright. So, what character am I on right now? Okay, this is my character. Alright, so, first and foremost, uh, got a dagger, we got my bow. I think that's the bow I was originally using. I'm gonna put a bow for her. No, 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 no I don't want a bow. I want to... I guess I'll use a wand, I guess, for her. Since she's light magic, I guess, that would make sense. Put my uh, outfit back on. Put her outfit on. Alright, Gucci. We good now. Interesting. I'll take a look. Oh, wait. I got this right here. Let me see. Wait, do you feel that? Yeah, the room. It's reacting to something. And I think I know what. Do you see that stone over there? That's a, that's... That's one way to put it. Either way, the rune did react to it. Assuming the Harbinger was right, if anything goes south, it's this stone we should be, well, resurrected at. <sighs> resurrected. I can't believe I just said that. You did. Let's not find out the hard way, shall we? Now, let's push on. Will do. Hmm. A fork. Any ideas which way to take? You know this place, right? Not as well as I'd like to. But I'm pretty sure the one to the left leads up to the courtyard. We should prepare for heavy resistance, though. And the other one? I don't know, but it leads farther down the mountain. I remember hearing some guards talk about a hidden entrance into the prison. I'm guessing they used it to smuggle booze in here for the long shifts. Hmm. So either we risk fighting dozens of guards or getting lost in the caves. What do you think? That well, I say we take the long way because I don't want to fight anybody.
Understood. Okay, so I can't go that way. Caves, you were right, but, hmm, that's not an ordinary lock. Looks like part of a mechanism to me. I didn't know you were an expert on locks. That did something, but wait, I think I know what this is. Enlighten me. It's a Cathayan lock. There's probably another one nearby, which we'll need to pull at the same time as this one. Let's find it. Yes, that did it. Indeed. Let's take a look at these caves, shall we? Whatever is necessary. You asked for this. <sighs> Helen's reins. I hate these things. Seems this entrance wasn't used in a while after all. Sounds like a plan. Progress. Great. A storm. This might play into our hands, though. There'll be a lot less people to sneak or fight past that way. Hmm? Really? Is it just me, or do Nortander guards have a habit of leaving their stuff lying around unattended? Seems like it. Let's just be grateful. Mm. Hold on. Do you see that? Yeah. Patrols. Tiara's breath. Someone's there. Here we 
go. Got it. Fair enough. Let's do this. Sure. Sounds like a plan. Get ready! All right. There goes nothing. Blazes. You're now officially a deserter. Will do. Breath. Someone's there. There we go. Let me see. Interesting. Blasted! That's Garion and Armin. Meaning? Wolfguard. And no, don't even think about it. Those are elite soldiers from the unit I served in. Hmm. The way I see it, the way down into the cellar is right here. As long as we stay out of sight, we should be fine. All I'm saying is I don't like these dressed up idiots acting as if they're the ones making the laws now. What would you have the Lord Marshal do? The people believe in them. If whoever the people believed in would be in power, unicorns we run in this country now. What the commoners need is a strong hand to guide them. Not some lunatic babbling on about return. With over 7,000 soldiers stationed in Greykeep, the fortress's need for food and drink is immense, requiring equally immense space to store them. What few people know is that Greykeep's Undercroft is more than just a vault. It is also the entry point to an intricate network of hidden tunnels, which lead all the way through the keep. Here we are. Now where's that secret sewer entrance the Harbinger was talking about? No idea. I've never been to this part of the keep. Okay. I... Wait. Do you hear that? Footsteps. Yeah. They noticed we're gone. We need to move quickly. So, what's the plan? Alistair. That's bad. Know him? Yeah. We... We need to reason. I'll take a look. Oh, 
car? What... what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be... Rotting in a cell. You better have a damn good explanation for this, Corporal. It's not how it looks, Alistair. You don't know the whole story. What are you... Why are we even listening? We know what she did. Yes, you know what I did? I tried to save a bloody village full of innocents from being slaughtered. And now they want to kill me? Forget it. I'm not gonna give in like that. But he had to do it. If he hadn't purged that village, the bloodburn might have spread to Greyfell. See? That's where you're wrong. That's where you're all wrong. The bloodburn isn't contagious. It's a curse, and slaughtering these villagers did nothing. You hear me? Nothing. That night in the Kraken, didn't you tell me you still dream of that child? That you're still blaming yourself for not doing the right thing when you could have? That's what I did. And I'm not going to die for it. But how do you know? What? How do you know it's just a curse? The Harbinger of Light told me. They know all about it. The Harbinger. Right, of course. What else would the Holy Harbinger do than discuss the blood burn with a prisoner? Did you have tea as well? Remember the Red Fever? It spread throughout half of Eo within weeks. Do you know how many people died? Hundreds of thousands. If the blood burn were as contagious as the General thinks it is, we would be standing in a sea of bones right now. Please, just think for a moment. I'm not the enemy. You... Stop it, Esben. Tahar's innocent. What? You heard me. You can pass, Tahar. Though I'm not sure what you're hoping to find down here. Neither are we. Thank you, Alistair. <coughs> Thank you. I'm the one who should be thanking. Now go! We'll cover for you. I can't believe you just did that. Well, I did. <laughs> Weapons, huh? Maybe some of the blades are still sharp. Ooh! Okay, it's literally the exact same thing as mine, so we're not going to take that. God damn it. Requires a key. I don't have a key. But I can go here, I guess. Alright, let's see going this way. Up in here. Sounds like a plan. There. That must be the entrance the Harbinger was talking about. It should lead us through the mountain into the sewer system. All right. And what then? How far is this village, Farland's Hope? It's in Iskander. A four-day journey. Maybe a bit more. Mm. You do realize we don't have to do this, right? We could just make a run for it. I don't think so. Lacane would find us. And if what he says is true... Wait. You actually believe that? This vision stuff? Honestly, I don't know what to believe anymore. But I think for now, we should stay on his good side. We can figure out the rest later. Yeah, I guess you're right. I wouldn't know where to go anyway. All right then, Corporal. Lead the way and I'll follow. With Aelot Iskander executed for allying with your father during the Mage Wars, the Iskander lands have since fallen into anarchy. On your journey, you've met many travelers, sunken-cheeked figures who've told you stories about having lost their homes to bannerless soldiers and bandits. They've also told you something else. That a once deserted village has come back into bloom, offering refuge to those without shelter. Fallen's hope. All right, so that will do it for part four, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you on part five.